four five eight talk is the number we go to the phones. Good morning, caller. Who's this? This is Randy. Randy, what's on your mind today? Well, I'm glad that uh, there's dialogue going on between the Occupy Fairbanks people and the Patriots Lament people. I uh, myself went to the first Occupy Fairbanks rally. I, I didn't participate in it. I was at a distance, you know, more than 60 feet away. But I was taking pictures of some of the signs just to see what it was all about. I didn't want to horn in on their thing, you know. But after it was all kind of over and they were over at Veterans Park on that day, on October 15th, I, I went over and talked a little bit with them about some issues. Anyway, I just wanted to bring up uh, the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2012 that was brought up a little earlier. Uh, S 1867. Uh, I did go to the uh, uh, PatriotsLament.blogspot.com website and and saw the YouTube video of what Senator Rand Paul had to say about it, and also another little short video of what uh, something that uh, John McCain said about said about something in answer to Ron, Rand Paul. But anyway, I then went to the legislation myself. You know, went to Senate.gov and clicked on legislation and records and typed in S-1867 uh, to get the pertinent information, which is located in Title 10 of that, uh, Title X, you know, these Roman numerals of that uh, law, and then to Subtitle D and uh, to Section 1032. Anyway, I printed it out and got it in my hand right now, and it says that it pertains, it says, uh, to be a member of or part of Al-Qaeda or an associated force that acts in coordination with or pursuant to the direction of Al-Qaeda, and then also... In uh, section in, uh, number B, it says, United States citizens, the requirement to detain a person in military custody under this section does not extend to citizens of the United States. It also does not uh, extend to any lawful resident aliens. So uh, it was passed on December 1st by a vote of 93 to yes to 7 no. So I don't really see a problem with it, but it's good that it's being brought up and discussed to make sure that they're is no problem. You know, Randy, I'm not entirely surprised that you don't have a problem with it. Josh Bennett, what were you going to say? I, uh, Randy, you got to read the whole thing. You take everything into context. Rand Paul asked John McCain, do you see where an American citizen can be arrested under this act? And he flat out says, yes, the American people want that. And if you also look in there, it said there's another section in there that says the Secretary of Defense, not Congress, there's no oversight whatsoever into this, the Secretary of Defense can suspend all the exemptions if he deems national security requires it. Which I, if I, he deems it exactly. alone, no I, congressional oversight. I, I have a question for you, Randy. You, you believe that uh, we should go after al-Qaeda, whoever we're told is part of al-Qaeda, right? Well, if they've committed some acts of terrorism. Right. So, more basic question. What does Al-Qaeda mean, translated? Al-Qaeda, we'll get to the definition right after the Fox News here at the bottom of the hour on KFAR. You've got it on local talk radio, 660 AM. All right, welcome back to Patriots Lament right here on KFAR. I'm Steve Floyd, helping to moderate the uh, situation at least a little bit. On the phone still, uh, Randy, are you still there? Yes, I am. All right. Do you have a uh, definition for us? What does Al-Qaeda mean? It probably means something like, let's go kill a bunch of Christians and Jews or something like that, Uh, but I'm not really sure. It's two words, and you think that the U.S. government should unilaterally be allowed to go after anybody who some clown in the Pentagon says is part of Al-Qaeda, and you don't know what the two words translate to. Well, I, that's I, I, pretty sad, Randy. No, I, I, yeah, I don't know, but I just I, anybody that's that pretty kills, sad, and that's a pretty weak reason to put somebody in jail or detain them indefinitely or kill them. At least it's not American citizens, though. Oh, it already has been. Hmm. It already has been, so, Randy. I mean, law, they already have they, killed an American yeah. citizen without due process under the, well, not under this. They didn't even need it. It's already happened, Randy. I know, but in 1867, it, it says it does not apply, you know, carting off people to Guantanamo does It's not already apply. happening. I don't care what's on a piece of paper. This is already happening. People, an American citizen's blood has been shed. A guy has been killed without due process uh, under the Patriot Act before this. This just gives them additional cover. Are you talking about the guy in Yemen that they uh, struck with a drone? Yeah. Oh, he was a bad dude. It's like killing Bonnie wait, and Clyde. Wait. <laughs> okay. How do we know? How he do you was know he was a bad guy? dude? What, I did, thought we wait, were wait. innocent until proven No, no, it guilty. was it was during his trial that it came out that he was a bad dude. Well, how about Bonnie and Clyde? Remember they were ambushed and shot up to pieces yep. with machine gun. Good were, point. Was that good or bad? That was right on U.S. soil, and they were U.S. citizens. But it was okay because they tried to get the wait, people. They wait, were too wait, dangerous. It was get, okay. Yeah, it was okay. Okay. Even though I like uh, Faye Dunaway, I think she's real cute. All right. But she deserved to be machine gunned. 
Randy, uh-huh. what if what if tomorrow they were to expand the definition to make Republicans right. part of the acceptable hit list? That would be bad. Why? Because. Because it's you? Because that would be Randy. Because a hit list is for murders, and, and as far as the guy in Yemen, uh, you know, he's far away. I'm sure they might have tried to want to That makes to it okay. Him. Yeah, hey, look, Something he's far is. away. Let's, let's go ahead and kill him. Hey, I've got a question for you, too. Him. Hey, Randy, I've uh-huh. got a question for you. Yeah. Do you know why they killed that gentleman over there in uh, Yemen? Uh, you know, I can't, I don't. I forgot the details. I never knew him too well. I assume he was engaged in terrorism, killing people and stuff you, like that. Uh, he you killed. Assume? He killed no one uh, with his own hands. He was a mouthpiece for Al Qaeda. He spoke English and he uh, got their message across. So he got killed for his speech. Whether I agree with it or not, I definitely do not. Um, but I, I don't think it's my right to go kill someone because of the words that came out of their mouth. You yeah, know, it was just words. I'm not familiar with the case, really. But Dave, yeah. you make a really good point that, that regardless of whether you agree with a person's speech or not, to use his speech as a, as a reason to go out and kill him, I, I think is probably the most despicable justification that you could come up with. And the fact that they did not have – again, Randy – uh-huh. Before you start spouting off about it's good to kill people, no, you I need to know anybody. exactly why it is that, that these people are being killed. Just because somebody says, oh, it's okay, he was a criminal, that doesn't make it okay. Because you know what? Tomorrow it might be you that's declared a criminal. That's what we're trying to get across here, is that if we are not under a rule of law, then we're under the rule of men. Well, I think there's I, – I, you know, I, I didn't call in about this guy, and I, I don't have uh, – I didn't – don't have notes on him or what he did. I could look it up on a Google real quick, but, but – uh, I, you know, I can't, I can't discuss it real intelligently. But good just, riddance. Yeah. Thank God we killed him. Yeah. I, I would bet money. One must cheers to that. I would bet ten dollars with you that he was a bad dude. You know. Well, but, and not only did, did Anwar Alaki get killed, but two weeks later they killed his 17-year-old American son as well. So was he a bad dude as well? I have no idea. And Josh, I didn't hear about the 17-year-old son. What, what happened there? It was in a, another drone strike. Uh, him and uh, uh, his cousin, as well as other people, were, were killed a couple of weeks after a Lockheed. But it's okay because it was a drone, so it didn't actually involve American soldiers. Yeah, that would be their theory. Yeah. I vehemently <laughs> disagree. All right, Randy, appreciate the call. I'm going to let you go.